for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially free, tactically cool stuff that I actually have been uh, meaning to get my hands on. What we have here is an optic sent to me by Vector Optics. This is apparently the Victoptics SPX1X22. And uh, it kind of surprised me and ended up being a, an optic that fits a, a need I've been looking for quite perfectly. So let's pop it open and see what we get. We have a cleaning cloth. We have the usual accoutrement, a screwdriver for adjusting it, uh, the wrenches you need to attach it and all of that. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I assume this is for zeroing it in some manner. And then of course we have the optic. And as you can see, it is quite small which is what makes it so fabulous. Now, it did not appear to come with a battery as far as I can tell. I don't know if it usually does and I just got unlucky, but it does use a 23 or a 2032, a 2032 battery. Fairly simple and standard to get a hold of. It's got a button on the side, turns it on, multiple pokes, uh, makes it brighter. It's got, I think, five settings. So one, two, three, four, five, and then off, yep, five settings. And uh, yeah, as I said, it fits a, uh, a need uh, perfectly of mine, which is that I was wanting to put a, an optic on my JSPB uh, 5G because it is accurate enough and has a, a good enough range and just is a svelte, cool enough looking pistol that I really wanted to have an optic for it and didn't have any that I felt really fit really well until this one arrived. And this one, I feel, fits it quite nicely. I'm gonna put it on there. It's Picatinny rail mount and luckily the JSPB has Picatinny rail. Use a little wrench, tighten it down, and now I have an optic on this blaster. And uh, it's really quite lovely. And uh, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna plink with it and see if I can hit anything with it and possibly zero it in a little bit to uh, to hit where this thing is going and see if we can't uh, can't make this work real nice with this setup. I don't know if the sight maybe should be a little bit further back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's better. Anyway, let's take it out and plink to the range. Right, I'm here on the range. I have the Victoptics sight there on my JSPB J G5 G5. And uh, I'm a plank with it. Right now I've got it loaded up with the new Dart Zone uh, bamboo darts, the lighter green ones with the purple tips. And I don't think I've ever fired them out of this, so I have no idea what it's gonna do. I'm then gonna fire some regular Adventure Force Dart Zone black and oranges. And uh, we're gonna see if I can't actually hit anything with this and if I can zero it in a little bit, because I'm, I'm curious. We're gonna start just by trying to hit the 25. And we can. It's actually not bad. Let's see if we can hit the 50. Oh, uh, not quite. Time to reload. Now with regular Adventure Force. Let's see what it does first up close. Uh, well, the name for that, but that's neat. Aim for the 50. I don't actually know where that went. Well, there we go. I got the 50. I got it again. Oh, round's complete. That'll do, actually. I don't think I need to, to sight it in. I don't think I can make it any more accurate than it currently is. I can hit the 50, that's pretty peachy. I am super pleased. I brought the gizmo to, uh, to, to sight it in, but it, it seems... Wrong gizmo. No. No. Wrong pocket. Around here somewhere. There it is! Gizmo. Let's give you a tiny screwdriver. It's a tiny flat screwdriver. But, uh, yeah! No, that'll do. What if I can hit a bottle? I'm gonna try to hit a bottle on purpose this time. We go for the bottle. Now we're using uh, the old, the original bamboo. Let's see if we can get... The one on the right of the left side set. Oh, we're over. Interesting. Okay. A little bit lower. 
still over right over the top of it ah. we reload i go until i hit it regular dodge gun well all right then victory is mine uh it's aiming a little more than a little high so let's Please, right. We'll talk about it a little bit more. That was entirely too much fun. I, I really enjoyed that. I've wanted to put a sight on this for a while and that one fits perfectly. I think it, ooh, can't really see it on black on black background. I think it fit, and now you can't see the blaster on the orange background. I can't win for losing. Um, I think it's just the right size for this. I think it looks really good, well balanced, not too ostentatious, you know, like a big old scope would be. And I was able to adjust it to a point where I could, I could hit things with it and I am pleased with that. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, but neither is it the least. Um, I'd wanted, uh, uh, an optic for this and now I have one so I'm pleased with that link to it will of course be down in the description uh, Let me know what you guys think of this particular optic or if you think there's a different one I should have put on this particular blaster uh, What your thoughts on the JSPB G5 G5 are in general And thank you guys for watching Mwah!